Good morning, YouTube friends and family. How is everybody out there doing this morning? I hope everybody's doing blessed and well this morning. Okay, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video with Cooking with Cheryl Spiritual Kitchen. Okay, and today I have something on the menu that is very delicious, very filling, and very hearty. And it's some beans and fried chicken, okay? But what we're going to do is not red beans and it's not chili beans today, okay? I'm going to cook some white northern beans, okay? They are very delicious in flavor and they're just mm, scrumptious to me, okay? And I hope you enjoy them too for the people who out there who do like beans. And also along with those beans, aside that, I am going to make some chicken strips. I'm going to fry up some chicken strips and I'm going to toss them in a glaze and hey, set them on the side with some rice and, and, uh, and some cornbread. You may not see me cook the rice and the cornbread on camera, but you will see me do the beans and you will see me do the fried chicken, okay? So, without further ado, let's start this video off with a prayer. And I go ahead, get your coffee, get your tea. Come on, get your coffee, get your tea. Right here. And come on over here and cook with me this morning. Let's say a prayer and then let's cook together, okay? Come on, come on, come on in. Get a, get a sip of your coffee or tea. Come on. Come on. Okay. And let's start this prayer off first. And then let's get into this video. And the prayer goes like this. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, thy comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Okay. So now, let's get this video started. Without further ado, I want to show you the ingredients that I'm going to use, and then we're going to get into this video. Okay. So first, the ingredients that I'm going to use for these, for these beans... It's great northern beans. I have a big bag here. I, I, I use like half of it. So I have some great northern beans. If you can see that. And then I have here cut up some onion, red pepper, onion, red pepper, yellow pepper, and uh, orange bell pepper. I have the beans here. I have two cups. I showed you the kind of beans here. Are the beans already washed and picked, picked and washed, okay, very well. I have here some chicken apple sausage that I'm going to add to this um, to these beans. And I'm also going to put some bacon in it too for flavor. And then I have here my chicken strips that I am going to season up and fry these to perfection. Do you hear me? So yes, that is the ingredients that I'm going to use for today. And now we are going to get started. So, without further ado, I'm going to bring you over to the stove, and we're going to, we're going to get this party started. So, come on. Let's go. Okay, so we're back, and we're over the skillet that is getting quite, quite hot. And at this point, I am going to start off with the bacon, okay? Getting this bacon in here. Yes. I thought about this meal all day yesterday. I'm like, yeah, I want some beans. Some great northern beans. They've been sitting there waiting for me to cook for the longest. <laughs> I like to wait to fix things when I really have a taste for them. Let me wash my hands. Because I find that they're better for my appetite. If I really have a taste for something and then fix it, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Now. All right. So, let me 
get my favorite spatula. This is what I want to do. This is going to be my flavor for the beans. And once we get these beans on, I'm going to bring you back to the, to the table where I am going to um, let you see me season the chicken and then let it marinate until it's time for frying because it's going to be marinating for a few hours because I'm going to let that chicken marinate with the seasoning until these beans are almost done and then I'll fry, well, pretty much done where they're in a simmering mode and then I'm going to fry the chicken so that everything can be done at the same simultaneously, okay? So, at this point, I'm going to add... The sausages. This is um it's called Adele's chicken apple sausage. And it's such a good flavor that comes from the that I, I like the flavor that is that this chicken apple sausage has. And then mixed with this little smoky bacony flavor too, it's just gonna give it all the more flavor that's gonna come out of this sausage. That is going to get into those beans, okay? So we're going to let this just continue. And I hope you guys can see, but let me turn this ring light on. And see how long this will stay on before it pops off. But yeah, that's a little bit better. And it just, when I turn it on, it just comes off, goes off when it get ready. I don't know why. It might be on some kind of timer. When I bought it, I never really, because they're all so different. They all do different things. Some have remotes to them. This one actually has a remote to it, but I don't really use the remote. Maybe I should go ahead and put a battery in it and just use it because it probably is on some kind of timer when I turn it on, but let's see. Okay, so while that is um, cooking, I'm now going to add my onion bell peppers, my onion and my peppers to this, like so. And I'm also going to uh, put some better than bouillon in this. And the bacon, I wasn't trying to cook the bacon now to cook it to eat, you know, like you cook it when you fry bacon. I'm only rendering it to get the fat and the flavor out of it, to get the flavor all into the rest of this, these vegetables and this turkey sausage. That's what I wanted. And this is delicious. It smells amazing in here. If you could only smell the smells that I smell. Mmm, I mean, smells delicious. Okay, so now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the beans. And remember, this was two cups of beans. Wash, pick and wash very thoroughly. Okay, now I'm going to add the beans to this. And I'm going to stir this up like so. Then over to the side, I have some chicken broth. Ready. Mm, this smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. So, I'm going to add some chicken broth and some better than bouillon mixed with this chicken broth here that you see me adding to this. All of that bouillon in there. And then I'm going to add more water to this. Okay. 
Now, at this point, what I'm going to do is season these beans. and Okay, season them with dry seasonings. And then I'm going to cover and let them cook. They will take at least two hours. That's what I usually cook my beans for at least about two hours until they're nice and tender and creamy. And to this, I am going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to add some Kinder's red garlic pepper flakes, which is really good. I'm going to add some thyme. I don't have fresh thyme, so I'm going to use this thyme. I like the flavor of thyme and beans. I'm going to add some seasoning salt a little bit because it is seasoning salt. garlic blend and I'm gonna add because this just gives a food to me a really good flavor and I love it and I'm gonna add some obey in here don't knock it till you try it it's a flavor in this obey that I just love right now on everything other than seafood <laughs> so yeah we're gonna stir all of this up Oh my goodness gracious. I just, one day, I will invent smell o vision uh, Yes. <laughs> okay, because if you guys could just smell what I smell. So you see all that delicious flavor going through those beans right now? That's what I want. And so I'm going to come over here and get this. over to the table so that you can watch me season the chicken. Be right back. Okay, so we are back at the table now and what I am going to do, I'm going to bring this chicken over here. It is already washed and cut and everything, just waiting to be marinated. So uh, that's exactly what I'm about to do now. I'm gonna um, marinate the chicken, season it, Put it in the refrigerator to marinate for a couple of hours until the beans are done. And then I'll come out, bring it back out, fry the chicken up, and complete the meal. So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to season it with. And here are my chicken strips here. This is actually three nice chicken breasts that I sliced down the middle and then sliced the long way, okay, to make them strips. And the first thing I'm going to add to this is some stinging honey garlic. This is good for chicken. Give it a little spice and it's a really nice flavor to it too. If you haven't tried it and you like spicy, a little spice, try it. <clears throat> Garlic powder. I'm going to put some pepper. I'm going to put some, oh man, some Old Bay. Because like I say, I noticed lately I've been cooking this Old Bay, using this Old Bay on other things besides, um, whoo, seafood and it is a really good flavor that I love so I'm using that and I'm going to use some garlic and pepper blend kinders some parsley and some paprika Get in here with our hands. <laughs> Let me wash them first. I've been touching the 
seasonings. And now we're just going to get in here and do this. Mm -hmm. Mix it all up together. Get all those good old seasonings in there. Oh, yeah. See, these are the size of the strips right here. Once they're all fried up, they'll be nice and delicious and flavorful. So, there you go right there. Oh, it's another thing I want to add to this. Let me wash my hands off because I got to go with my cigarette. Well, I've been touching chicken, period, but yeah. Let me show you. I want to also add some. Some hoisin sauce. Uh, this is good, hoisin sauce. So I'm going to add some of this to this and let this marinate. Get back in here again. Mix it all up together. Okay, now. Mmm. This is going to be so good once this is all fried up. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, telling you. Okay. Woo. Okay, drop my hands. Now, here is it seasoned, and I'm going to put this over it, and into the refrigerator, this is going to go to marinate, okay? Just like that, in the fridge it goes. All right. I bought this now. Okay, so, I want to be quick here. Okay, so now, first half of the video, we got the beans going, we got the chicken marinated and in the refrigerator for when we come back to get ready to fry it. And now all we have to do is just wait, let the beans get ready. And between that time, I'll, you know, maybe in about an hour or so, I'll put the rice on and do the cornbread. So when I come back again, that should be already done. That will be already done. And, um, yeah, we'll just get the chicken fried and see the outcome of these delicious beans, okay? So until I come back, don't you guys go far. I will be back soon. Hey, welcome back, YouTube friends and family. I am back now, and the beans are done, the rice is done, and the cornbread is done. So all we have yet to do now is fry this chicken, toss it in that good old glaze, and serve okay so I'm gonna put this chicken here's the chicken now right here that we have I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you down so you can see it and I'm gonna put it in the bag and I'm gonna shake it up and then I'm we're gonna go over to the stove and we're gonna fry it okay so here we go let's do it all right oh. all right now here's the chicken and here's a bag of flour that I have and, and to this flour I am going to add some cornstarch. No, I'm not finna measure it. I'm just finna sprinkle a little in it. That should be about enough. It's just to bring a nice little crunchy crisp on it. Woo. It's off the hands. Now, we have flour and cornstarch in here. And now I'm going to put these strips in here. They've been marinating for a couple of hours now and seasoning and this good old hoisin sauce. We're going to get them in here. Discard this pan. I'll wash that out in a second. Wash my hands off. And now we are going to all in 
this bag. I'm just going to shake them all up. All the strips up in here. And no, I really don't season my flour. But I did put a little bit of... Uh, of um dang what my words at today y'all i did put a little bit of old black old bay in the flour okay and you seen me just put the cornstarch in it and you seen when i marinated marinated it earlier and this is what it should look like okay now now i'm gonna go to the stove and you can meet me over there and we're gonna fry okay so come on let's go Okay, now we are at the stove. The cornbread is done. Here are the beans. I don't know if you guys can see them that well, but here they are. They are just simmering very, very lowly. Oh my God. Delicious. So here's the oil, and we are going to start to fry. Give it another good shake. Rattle and roll, and then shake off the excess flour, and then fry. Shake off the excess flour. And fry. All right. We're going to let that fry up until it gets nice and golden brown. Oh, yeah. So... So, now that we've got the chicken going, we're going to let that fry up until it gets nice and golden brown. And then we're going to come back, we're going to plate, and we're going to say grace, and we're going to taste, okay? So, don't go away. Okay, YouTube friends and family, we are back. And the chicken is done. And now I'm about to take it from the pan. I'm going to just sit it there. It's so tender, too. It's so delicious. Yeah, I did try a piece. <laughs> because I couldn't resist. It was so tender and so delicious. So flavorful. Yes. Out of that first batch. And now we're going to toss these in that glaze. Oh, oh man.
we gonna bring, I'm gonna bring you back over. I'm gonna bring you back over here so that you can see me toss them, okay? So you can see me toss them up. Let me see if I can do this without even. Hey, there we go. Yeah, great. Terrific. Perfect. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. All right. So now I'm going to get this chicken. Look at that delicious batch of fried chicken tenders. Mm. And here I have my sauce here. And look at the beans. I want to show you the beans, too. Hoo-wee. Let me show you these beans. Ooh, look at these beans, y'all. They are so good. Oh, with them sausages in it and that bacon for flat. Oh, it smells so good. So good. Woo, nice and creamy. Mm, mm. Okay, so we have that there. I'm going to move this over. Back over to out of the way. And then here's my rice. Okay. Now, this is a mixture of hoisin sauce, sweet chili pepper sauce, and honey. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these. Just kind of give it a drizzle. Woohoo! And then I'm going to just do this. Give it a nice toss. Boom! It's just as simple as that. Get another plate. Another plate. Woohoo! Put them on a plate like so. And then we're gonna do the same with these. Throw them in here. Give them a toss. These are so good. I just want to show y'all just how tender these are inside. Oh. Uh, ooh. Mm, mm, mm. And we're gonna go. Mm. I'm sorry. Then we're gonna give these another drizzle. This is so good and tender, flavorful. Give these a call. Mm hmm. Mm. And onto the plate, like so. Oh yeah. That's so good. Oh, that is so good. That is just delicious. I mean. Oh, wait, I'm going to tear this up, y'all. Then, the last few in here. Toss them. Get them all coated. Then back onto the plate again. Ooh. Oh yeah. Just like that. Oh yes. So good. We're going to 
bring the beans back over here. So good, y'all. And then there you have it. Fried chicken strips. And a nice honey hoisin sauce glaze. Okay. Now we're going to plate and taste. Okay. Yes, we are. We're going to plate and taste. We're going to plate this up. We're going to get some rice. And we're going to get some beans. Let me hold on a second. Let me just get some of the presentation in. beans on here. Well, okay. I am done. I have played it. Now it's time to say our grace and taste. Let's do it. Here it is. Oh, doesn't it look good? Cornbread, white northern beans with sausages, and fried chicken tossed in a honey soy sing sauce. Okay? So, without further ado, let's get into it. Play with me, y'all. Don't play with me. Mmm. This is so good. The beans are tender. They are delicious. The flavor that is coming from these beans right now. Mmm. Okay, let's taste a spoonful with the uh, chicken apple sausage. Sausage. the reason why these beans was on my mind last night. Mm, mm, mm. I already knew what I was going to do with these beans. And they are delicious. No, I'm sorry. They are sure delicious. Mm, mm, mm. They were sure delicious. Cornbread. Mm. This is so good, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. Oh my goodness, the flavor. did it again. I didn't outdid it myself. This is truly a delicious meal. Very hearty, very delicious, very flavorful. Mm, mm, mm. Your whole family will love this, I'm telling you. This is so tender on the inside. So delicious. It is so good. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, and then this apple sausage, that chicken apple sausage, and the beans, 
this is just totally delicious. Mm, mm, mm. I'm sorry, y'all, but. Mm. That is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. I'm sure it's just chicken. One more time. This and the sauce. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yes. So. Thank you. Whew. I done got through another video. And this one was a doozy because this meal is delicious. And I tell you, if your family love white northern beans, you should use this recipe and try it with them chicken apple sausages, okay? A little bit of bacon just for a little bit of uh, 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 that flavor too. But with that chicken and sausage in there with the rest of the ingredients, uh, seasonings I put in, them beans are delicious, okay? Along with the cornbread and the chicken, okay? Delicious, okay? Please try it with your family. And to the next video, God bless you all. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And to the next video, God bless you.